let's determine the following limits for the function f of x and f of x is a piecewise function if x is smaller than 0 f of x is negative x negative x just looks like this it would continue forever of course like that but we're only interested in x is smaller than 0 so we're going to cut it in half it's just going to go up to here because that's x equals 0 so for values of x smaller than 0 it's going to look like that because that's y equals negative x okay and why and when um, x is greater or equal to 0 f of x is just x and y equals x looks like this right there that's the y equals x line so this is our piecewise function if you have any problems drawing piecewise functions and linear equations I suggest you review review them on our website anyway so now let's find the limit the limit of f of x as x approaches 0 from the right that's what the little plus here means as we're approaching 0 this is x equals 0 from the right we're gonna reach 0 so that's just equal to 0 as simple as that we approach 0 as we come from the right what about if we come from the left this is the limit of f of x as x approaches 0 from the left that's what the little minus here means so we're coming from the left and we're also approaching 0 from the left so that's also equal to 0 and question C what is the limit of f of x as x approaches 0 now the condition for this limit here to exist is that the limit from the right and the limit from the left at 0 must be equal in this case they are equal the limit as x approaches 0 coming from the right and coming from the left are both 0 so the limit as x approaches 0 of f of x is just 0 that's it but of course if they were different the limit of x approaching 0 for f of x would not exist for example if this was 1 then this would not exist so now I suggest you try a few more examples and good luck